Hello students welcome to my channel Deshi Shantanu from Art and Crafting In this episode we will discuss about the different colors and their techniques So let's start There are several colors such as pencil colors, oil pastels, soft pastels or dry pastels, poster colors and watercolors. At first, we will discuss about pencil colors. It is a wonderful dynamic medium which is highly beloved by the artists, designers or even hobbyists because it's very easy to use color pencils are partially transparent so it generally work from light to dark colors These are the two paintings done by the pencil colors. Then comes oil pastels. These colors are found as sticks consists of pigment mixed with a binder mixture of non-drying oil and wax. It's a very important to know that wax crayons are made without oil oil pastels are bold and bright these colors are of the favorite mediums of children when they begin to learn drawing and painting Now we will discuss oil pastel techniques. There are four main steps to create a painting by oil pastels. First, create and under painting. Second, layer colors. Third, slowly build up applications. Fourth and the last step, clean up the edges. with the background soft pastels or dry pastels these colors are also found in the form of sticks and have a higher portion of pigment and less binder the drawing can be readily smudged and blended next comes its techniques first step block in your basic paintings second step is smudging and blending and then complete the painting
poster colors poster color is a decorative and inexpensive paint that is mostly used for commercial painting poster colors are highly opaque vibrant and dense but also fade in the light poster color techniques poster colors are opaque therefore most watercolor techniques will not apply to this medium however the shading techniques of pencil and pastel work are almost the same as in poster color first blending colors are applied in thick consistency with very little dilution in water and are blended into each other by the movement of the brush it can work both ways dark to light or light to dark third dry brushing the paint which is already in a semi solid state is loaded on a dry brush and different textures are created using stippling hatching etc thick visible strokes poster paints can give an effect of a knife with lesser paint when thick bold patches of color are used and strokes are left unblended these are the two examples of paintings done in poster colors watercolor watercolor is a painting method in which the paints are made of pigments suspended in a water based solution watercolor refers to both the medium and the resulting artwork watercolor techniques the first technique is watercolor washes dry wash on your palette mix a generous amount of water with your chosen pigment load your brush with as much paint as it will hold then working quickly make a steady controlled horizontal stroke along the top of the paper you will notice the water in the first stroke starts to pull along the bottom edge don't let this dry reload your brush with pigment and paint another stroke just below the first one overlapping with the bottom edge when you reach the bottom blot your brush on a paper towel then use the dry tip to carefully pull up the excess paint along the bottom of the final stroke to avoid a darker bottom let your paper dry completely at an angle before setting it down flat again wet wash first you will dip your brush in water and brush it over the whole surface be generous with the water where you want the paper glistening with moisture once you have wet the area dip the brush in paint and apply lines of color within the wet area just like you would with a dry brush the paint will blend into one luminous wash of color
these are the two images of watercolor wash technique wet in wet watercolor painting wet in wet painting is one of the most basic techniques start by brushing water and only water onto your paper then dip your brush in paint and spread it over the water wash the paint will feather and diffuse like magic the third technique is preserving the whites this is a little difficult technique to master but once you get some practice with this medium you will realize that the areas that have to be left a light or white look best when left untouched with color for this you need to keep the highlights in mind at the time of the first drawing only the parts that separate one form from another can also be left white masking fluid works very well in this technique layering or underpainting layering means building up multiple layers of the same color in darker tones over the previous lighter ones to create depth and detail the previous layer must be completely dry so that the top layer doesn't mix into it these are the two examples the left one is wet in wet watercolor painting and the right one is layering or underpainting these are the two examples the painting are done by preserving the whites the fifth technique is glazing unlike layering in which darker shades of the same color are added in glazing different colors can also be used over the previously dried layers the areas where the lower layer shows through the top layer are a new color dry brush work in this technique paper is dry and the brush is slightly damp with color loaded generously on it the brush can be dabbed like stippling or it can also be dragged along the surface fan brushes or hog hair brushes work well in dry brushing sponge painting a textured sponge can be very handy tool to paint everything from foliage in trees to sand on a beach you can use a sea sponge or a regular new household sponge just dip it into your pigment and press it to your paper adding texture with salt when salt is sprinkled on a wet wash it starts to gather the watercolor pigments and makes the coolest texture the effect will vary depending on the size of the grains of salt and the wetness of the paper once the paint is dry simply brush off the excess salt these are the two examples of watercolor paintings the left one is glazing in watercolor the right one depicts dry brush work in watercolor these are the pictures done by sponge painting technique
and adding texture with salt in watercolor now we will discuss transparent and opaque colors and its techniques the transparent colors allow the light to pass through to the underlying paper whereas opaque colors reflect the light directly watercolors are a perfect example of transparent colors which have a luminous glaze and a three dimensional effect in their finish opaque colors like poster paints oil pastels oil colors and acrylic colors have a flat appearance of a solid color that we see around us in real things opaque colors are more vibrant while transparent ones are soft and subtle when it comes to transparency there are four categories of pigments transparent which let all the light through semi transparent which let most of the light through but reflects a small part semi opaque which reflects most of the light but lets a small amount through opaque which reflects all the light and lets nothing through Here are some examples of what this means in practice. Case A. A single wash of transparent blue over the white paper. The light goes through the paint, bounces off the paper and comes back through the layer of the paint. The eye sees the blue color with a bright finish. thanks to the brightness of the white paper underneath case b a single wash of opaque red covers the paper the light bounces off the paint without allowing it to travel through to the white paper the eye sees the red color with a flatter finish because of the lack of depth kc three layers of transparent paint over white paper the light travels through all the layers bounces off the white paper and comes back through all the layers the eye sees all the colors at once with a lot of depth created by the layering case d one opaque wash of green between two layers of transparent colors the light goes through the yellow layer to the green opaque layer but can't go any further the eye will see the green through the yellow giving a yellowy green color with some depth but the gray layer and the white paper will disappear entirely These are the two paintings created in watercolor transparency. These are the two paintings created in opaque colors.
thanks for watching please like and subscribe and if there is any doubt or query please put a note in the comment box below see you in the next video bye